Well, welcome back, subjects of funk, to this uh, Let's Funk King player, Hannibal at Das Gates. And uh, I'll give you a quick update of how it's been going. So, we conquered uh, this province of Hispania Cetiria. Just one region. Kisses. Kisses. Owner is now Carthage. Anyway, easy on the ball. Uh, judging me too harshly for the pronunciation. Um, so, objectives for this session. I think we should uh, get Nubia out of the picture poss possibly. Especially that coastal province there might be quite nice. No, Numidia, sorry, Nubia. Sorry about that. Um, and then we need to take over Emporion. Mm, or Emporia. So, they're the objectives for this session. I haven't seen any Roman armies as of yet, but I'm sure they'll come out the woodwork ASAP. So let's uh, spend some of this cash that we have left. Uh, that's, um, that's not very really good. This spot is is really is really um probably our most flourishing state at the moment. I say state, I mean a uh, province. It's doing really well. Look for something to build. Ooh. Uh right, okay. So what sort of buildings have we got primarily? Commerce. Commerce. And this one is commerce, so we need a commerce building. One that increases some comma commerce. Plus twelve percent wealth for maritime commerce. Absolutely spot on. Uh, thank you very much. And um could we purchase anything for our sorry about those frames They're actually pissing me off as well takes a few minutes for the game to get uh, settled in that's oh, shit I thought we owned that so I forgot we don't own that because I, I should have got all the uh, armor bonuses from Saguntum No, we can't afford bugger all, so we'll just end turn. And while we end turn, we'll talk about what I've got in my hand, which is a, a classic of mine, a favourite, a can of Guinness. Oh. These beasts slumber, but they could wake to hunt us both. Will you strike while they sleep? It's true. I think I think they do slumber, and they are going to uh, have a go, have a crack at us. I think that's yeah. Why not? I'll join you, sir. Oh dear. Enter one side of ally. You've got to. We're gonna have to. We're gonna enter all the wars that we, that we have allies. Right, let's have a look at some of these event notifications. So we've declared war. Oh no, we haven't. They have. They have. Encouraged populace. Construction complete. Fishing port. So we've got ten. Food now. We need to keep that food up like. A troubled populace. Where's that? Um. Right. I think it would be sensible to get that public order up there. What sort of garrison are we looking at? One Carthaginian hoplite, one citizen militia, two Libyan hoplites. Could do with some uh, ranged garrisons. Uh, I'm hoping the, these lot might uh, these lot will destroy them off, but I bet it doesn't work out like that. And now we, what the hell have we clicked on there? Oh, that's the enemy. Sorry about that. We're moving these fellows out here. 
them a lol. Now gives a public order bonus as well. Once that's built, because we're at zero. Uh, we'll leave it for now with the old mercenaries. See, the thing, good thing about mercenaries is, or how I like to use them, is you hire them just before you're about to siege, and then you just sack them off once you've taken the city because you don't want to be paying their wages for too many turns. That's a dead cert. Right, next thing I think to do is, is to, um, see, look at that, just hanging about. Oh, now that is good news. Some more hull. We need to get a bigger f fleet. See, if I remember rightly in history, the Roman fleets weren't a match for the Carthaginians, but was I in the first Punic War? Are we in the second, don't we? I think, if I believe rightly. I'll have a swig of Guinness while we end turn. There's a nice uh, creamy head on that. Oh yes. And once I've uh, done enough Rome playing for tonight, to sod off. Might as well, we're going to remove them from the game. You don't want stuff like that shall we hack at each other until our enemies no I, I I would make peace with these but I have a feeling that um a lot of these Jesus oh, that's all right for now I have a feeling that a lot of the things that people that want to make peace with me are the the ones that tend to well, what, I'm, what, I'm, what I'm thinking is if I make peace with them, the allies who I'm fighting them with will end up getting somewhat upset. Govern that region, please. Right. I want... I want to have a look and see what else we've got here. So that's industry. That's given that that's given us money from industry. Glassware sixty. And this one's commerce. And that one's commerce. And this gives us a bullshit uh, uh, a bonus with culture. I said that we go for a all out commerce approach. Let's check where that fleet is. Where's that Roman fleet gone? Back into the shadows. Wednesday came. What does that do? Right, okay. We've got an army there as well. That's interesting. We might take that, that settlement with that army. Right, so now we've got that uh, thing that reduces the um, that reduces the upkeep. Upkeep is the most important thing to reduce. I mean, some of the units that that we're hiring now, <laughs> the upkeep's pretty damn similar to uh, that of uh, uh, soldiers trained at home. Mercenary Scutari. Javelin men. Javelin men. What's the difference between them? Stupid. Um, right. So, until this is. That's another thing we'll do. We'll, we'll advance, advance our. Uh, our spy. We'll sabotage next time. And we'll get ourselves two of them. We need more ranged uh, capabilities with this army. That was its problem when we siege that uh, siege that town.
Right then. So, seasonal conditions. Ah, I forgot about this. So there's 12 uh, turns in a year, so that's the seasons, that's what what it's all about. And uh, bad autumn, oh. <laughs> right, well I can't see what else we need to do this turn. It's all about building that navy up, I think. Because he's the plan. Build the navy up. Possibly take Sicily at some point. And then sort of hold the Romans in place around this area that we're at now and then um, snake round with Hannibal in the north Athena gives wisdom and no mate sword off I and then later on I'm gonna play some Baldur's Gates with some more stouts, ales and bitters, I've got a couple of ales and a whole load of stouts so keep your eyes peeled for that fellas Inspired populace. Yeah, this spot's really our best spot we have. Ooh. I reckon so. Because you don't get any minus uh, minuses to the old... To the old... Uh, oh, I've got an itchy arm. You don't get any minuses to the old public order. Right. Oh, good. These lot have got a nice army getting built. So, within reach. Right, so we got four thousand in the kitty. Let them cower Boom! Oh no! Uh, in circle. We'll have to get ourselves some mercs. That's what we'll do. So, what's the comparison between these? It says a uh, faction mercenary, factional. Only be recruited by you. Ah, slingers. Get both those slingers. We got enough. Uh, we got enough of them. No, they're just as shit as a. Uh, well, they're slightly faster. Oops. There's there's the slightly slightly faster. And slightly better in hand to hand, but who gives a sod about that? Uh, what else do we want? So we'll have ourselves a two a Baltic slingers, and then we need some uh, cavalry that'll be relatively cheap to hire right now for this one turn, like that, because it's melee can accompany our Carthaginian cavalry as they do an encircling a manoeuvre. Mercenary noble horse, too expensive. And then do we need any, is there any shit infantry we can buy? 320. See we don't want to spend too much money, got to be careful. We'll buy this shit, they, we'll get both of them, sod it, you know. It'll be worthwhile investment to get rid of this city. Boom, fire. Mercenaries for hire. I think we'll play it. And I'll, uh, I'll cancel the old, uh, I'll, I'll skip the uh, loading screen, just for you guys. Let's wait and see if we can, uh, yeah, get a dry, a dry, nice um, environment for the boys. For the boys, I think we'll get to do a little bit of a closer up inspection of Hannibal himself in this uh, little intro bit. Where's he? There. Oh, this isn't Hannibal. Mm, Scott, I'm an idiot. A javelino man. Right then. So, there are expendable units right here. So expendable these guys are. That's what it's all about though, isn't it? Actually, I think we might come in at this part. I'll tell you what, we'll do that. 
gives us a wider as it's the widest gap it gives us a bit of a wider playing field for uh, for our javelins to fly through the air right so the main a bulk of the army here and these lot can go these two are going to come around the sides and there's our mercenary uh, Celtic horsemen so let's start that battle boom that's what it's all about and we'll put them there Like that piece of train. Archers. And uh, good for catapults to sit on there. But here we go. It's time to watch the boys advance. You see, I have to take this in one turn because there's too many consequences for uh, trying to starve the enemy out. I had absolutely no resources. And as we're fighting in a, a fairly a dry region. Uh, a fairly a desert ridden region mm. <sighs> with more fertile lands and I suppose the more southern areas it's still quite hard for the troops to forage and live off the land so then let's mother funk king fast forward that until the, these troops are exactly where we want them It's not really times and by two, is it? Oh, there. I suppose it is. Look at those legs. They're thin, aren't they? They're thin legs. Was it just me? It's like stick insects. Walking. Anyway. Enough of that. Ah, shit. Look at that curvature. That curvature up there is just enough to stop our boys from being able to um, see what the hell's going on so let's just charge up there with that Libyan javelin mate, men oh I wonder if we can no I don't want I want this unit I want to be able to see them as I come over the hill <laughs> that was my fault The javelin, oh man! See if we can try that. Are we in range? Shit. Not quite with the javelins. So we'll move them up even more. Nubian spearmen as well. That's good. I'd rather them use. I'd rather them use them. I'd love to use some more professional units to plug the gap. And I'll whack that on the fastest possible reload we can do. But it's horrible standing here. Boom. That's when we want the javelins to fly when they turn the backs. Maximum casualties. Let's get them in a perfect position. Shit, we are losing some uh, men. So who's firing at us? These. They would in range. It would seem not. We'll move these up. And we'll have them take a pop at those uh, slingers. Oh, that's the captain unit. The nobles. Yes. Sink them. Lose. 
That's what it's all about. I think we're doing quite good here. It's a pity the AI is so damn stupid, isn't it? Because it would just, it would have come out to meet us. It's like using the bottleneck against it. The fuck's going on? Yes! Back turned, covered in javelinos. Oh, I wonder now. Nah. 38 seconds left. I'd love to have cap it. Next time these lock come back around to defend, we'll have the uh, quick reload ready. Look at this noble guy standing about a meter in front of the the main body of troops. He's doing all right though, isn't he? Well, he's got about five javelins just missing his hand. Whoops. Get these in position. What we got here? Nubian spearmen. I don't like the sounds of that. I mean, I'm not expecting them to be good units at all. But I always have a funny feeling. Come on, chuck those javelinos. There we go. That's it. Nah, hit them. Yep. Take out as many of those nobles as we can. Wonder if he's still got the leader there. Come on. No. What the fuck? What the hell is going on here? I've asked him not to retreat. Fine. Whatever, if you're gonna fuck about like that. Come on. That's right. Right, this is it, isn't it? This is our chance of opportunity. So we'll bring up the rest of the boys. That's a lot of javelin men I'm losing there. Look at that. We've hardly done fuck all. And this is the time, isn't it? This is the chance. So this is why those tactics are good. Make sure you've spent all your ammunition. Before. Make sure you've spent all your ammunition before you proceed to attack. You'll be on for a dead winner. Oh, see you later. Libianos. Shit. I forgot I did that. Javelin men, see you later. And do you know what? Oh, the, the, the light horsemen are in front because they're light, so I'm going to, uh, we'll see how that looks for a member of the uh, Celtic light cavalry mercenaries. BOOM! You silly sods. Here we go. Have these got a, a rush? Yep. Oh. Oh well. Too late to use that ability. Excellent. 
we didn't even have to use the Saracen, I mean the, the Sacred Band, which is quite interesting, because that's uh, one of the reasons Napoleon got defeated, because his old guard never needed to be used. So it never really had that much experience. But that's a debate for another time. <laughs> another settlement conquered. It had to be done. So, who do we have here? Who's our general? Mahabal. Mahabal. He needs himself a beast master. That'll be handy that. That's a really handy thing to have. So he is a commander. Alright, so we are making some progress here. And uh, I think another thing we need to do, just like I said earlier, let's say goodbye to some of these units. To some of these units. We definitely don't need these to defend a settlement. Look at that, we didn't even lose any of our Libyan hoplites. All the uh, javelin men and the um, mercenaries took all the hits. So we'll get rid of them all. We really don't need them to defend a settlement. All we need is good hoplite formations. So there we go. We've still got three thousand plus coming in each turn oh, would you let's get these settlements converted right here and right now what am I doing what is that there a levy camp excellent excellent just cost the right amount of money as well and that's uh, these lots what have we got there? Nah, they're not a threat. Not to the garrisons. So we are rule this sea now we've removed that um troops. Now all we need to do is either have our mates here conquer that. Or we conquer it. We have one more settlement to really show who's boss, which is this one here. So I'll let's uh, continue. Whoa. An unsigned skill. At your Dignitary, always a good option. <sighs> Where's Roma? Are they going to come out the clouds? That's one thing you, um, you always switch off when you're playing this game is when it's ending turn there's an option to stop um fuck's sake oh. well, I had a few bits of bad news that time well, we've got a lot to do here haven't we Fishing port. Right. Ooh, pardon. Some stout in my gut. I think we'll uh, we'll call it a day now. Um come back next next time. Oh dear, to find out about the defence of uh Sissus. Jesus. We have got our work cut out in the next episode. Thanks for watching, the King of Funk. Catch you guys later.